all right fellas here we are back in pokemon masters and today we got ourselves lucas and dialga uh and they got their ex roll yes i am late i know i'm really late they got their ex roll like probably four or five days ago at this point um you know, such is life i guess i don't know either way i wanted to go ahead and I, I knew i wanted to get this video out i just did not know when i'd get it out and well i finally have gotten the footage all for it uh <laughs> I, I guess and uh we're gonna be putting it out now so whatever anyway so lucas gained the support ex roll uh with his rerun alongside Signet suit dawn for the sinnoh villain arc and it's not a bad upgrade definitely not uh it, it does help out with you know faster damage output and whatnot right you you know incentivize using his sync nuke early his sync is very easy to set up he just needs plus six speed and uh dragon zone active and of course you know crit and special attack and whatnot right but that is his max nuke right that's a very easy uh sync nuke to activate and uh even despite his age being fucking three years old at this point um no uh, about two and a half years old at this point uh he still got a good sync nuke he's got any uh not any he's got any uh dragon zone here 100 sync multiplier of course uh he's got inertia in the sync grid and he's also got a uh, draconic sync four which i never actually opted to pick up during this entire battle uh but still you know it is a good option and uh, he also gets brain sync two which he got with his fair tiles and about also half a year ago so he's got what is that uh 260 percent in total sync nuke multipliers that's definitely good no doubt about that that's a very very uh solid area for sync nuke especially uh with how easy it is to set up for him and the support x role gives him uh the support x on top of using his sync nuke so not only are you getting a solid sync nuke uh you're also getting the support sync buffs on top of it which will uh, further increase your team's damage output, which, of course, is uh, the best function of <laughs> Support EX, right? Not only that, you do get the stats. You get plus 40 to both defensive stats and however much HP. I don't actually remember. Either way, he's got 863 health, 256 special defense, and physical defense. Uh, very, very good defensive stats. That, uh, that's obviously very helpful in pretty much any game mode, but the Legendary Gauntlet is a big one that comes to mind, where even the most minor of stats can really help with uh, random solos, duos, whatever it may be so having lucas gain uh that ex role and getting those stats is very very helpful for his survivability as well so uh i'm not gonna go much into the abilities we already know he does let's go ahead and just hop into some battles and see what uh, the support ex really does to benefit his his own damage as well as benefit the uh, team damage which is mostly of course going to be consistent of dragon types so basically how does this uh, impact the i guess damage overall of special dragon type teams so our first battle here is with Volo, Sigma Su Cynthia, and you know, of course the showcase unit, Lucas. So Lucas here uh, is basically acting as the pretty much the grid that I already use. He's going to be using his Sync Nuke on top of providing the support EX, where we've got Volo uh, able to actually take hits here as well as do debuffs, uh, Sinnoh Circle, and all that stuff. So this is basically um, like Sinnoh Dragon quote maxing, I guess you could say, uh, or pretty much what I would put it as, frankly. <laughs> We don't have a Dragon Master Fair for Sinnoh yet, so, you know, maybe Volo in the future, who knows, but either way, whatever. Not really the point. We're able to uh, use Volo here in order to act as the tank, where Lucas is able to provide the support EX, so in a sense, we're kind of splitting the support function between two different uh, non-support characters. Again, Volo doing the tanking and supporting, where Lucas is actually providing the support EX buff. Uh, we did not actually get the... Um, the crit on the sink nuke, of course, because that, that's, that's just how luck tends to go, right? Because they decided to uh, make soften up a valuable passive to have. Sure, <laughs> I guess, but whatever. It doesn't really matter too much. Either way, of course, the double enhancement under the Sinnoh Circle, physical moves next buffs that Vol is able to provide, and the Dragon Zone that uh, Lucas, of course, is able to provide, is able to enhance Cynthia as our uh, main source of DPS here. And, of course, our next sync nuke as well. So, even without having her uh, paralysis-based multipliers activated, such as Static Shock or, um, what is it, Paralysis Energy, right? Uh, you're not, it still is very, very uh, solid damage. Especially with Cynthia's upgrade, right? The upgrade did help a ton with that, too. So, that, that is also a nice thing to think about. Anyway, so... We're able to use the uh, Sinnoh Circle and Physical Moves next spamming from Volo, further enhance both Lucas and uh, Cynthia's damage, and having that support EX from, uh, from Lucas was pretty much vital uh, to making the damage get uh, ramped up to the area that it was able to get ramped up to, right? Of course, we could replace Volo with the support EX instead, um, and we also did not uh, crit on Lucas's Sync move, so in that aspect, the damage wasn't really too important, but still, for the most part, being able to run a setup like this and get a very effective win it's still pretty impressive, I would say. Uh, free poke affairs, but still, hey, who really cares? Also, this was under plus 8 HP, or 
80% HP increase, whatever you want to call it, right? Point is, a lot of HP. <laughs> and we're still able to uh, work around it because of the uh, good support decks that Lucas is able to provide and the debuffs and defensive buffs that Vol was able to provide to the team, and also the same countdown we had as well. So <laughs> I guess having a maxed out Volo was uh, pretty helpful for that. But whatever. There we go. Decent enough showing of how Support EX is uh, very impactful for the this set, this specific dragon type setup, right? Because Cynthia doesn't have the X roll. Volo sadly does not have the Support EX roll. Really wish he did, but whatever. And our second stadium battle here includes us uh, anniversary of Steven buffing. Yes. So where this last setup was mostly uh, using Support EX to enhance uh, the nuke of another like striker based character, and you can replace that pretty much with Sigma Cynthia, uh, Sigma Suit Leon, Serena. Insert other dragon striker that has a relatively decent sync nuke here. <laughs> um, but in this setup, we're going to be uh, enhancing Lucas as our main nuker with uh, Anniversary Steven as our dragon type DPS. Uh, and who better to use with this than Acerola? Acerola is a character that can apply uh, offensive buffs, or just not offensive buffs, omni buffs, right? You know, plus five to all stats by plus two. Or, well, not plus five to all stats, Jesus. All five stats getting buffed by plus two, plus four, of course, with two use move, uh, which is, of course, enhancing Steven's good form very, very quickly, uh, and, of course, is also able to buff Lucas's speed so that he's able to get off his uh, sync nuke at full power uh, really, really quickly, actually. Like, he's already got the maxed out nuke, and it's literally turn three. So, like, that's what I mean, is that Lucas's nuke is pretty easy to activate. The only thing you really have to worry about is uh, maxing out his speed, right? Because he's got max special attack and crit from Grand Entry and his trainer move, uh, but then he also needs the Dragon Zone, which is easy, of course. We got one click of a button, uh, and then the speed buffs, which a support can do, or he can try and do himself, which uh, I do like actually being able to utilize uh, X speed plus in the middle of a battle where we can get that free moves next, which uh, I think I make better use of more later on uh, when I use him in a gauntlet battle. Anyway, so again, uh, this is mostly using uh, Lucas' support EX function here to power up Steven's damage, of course, where we would get, you know, the nuke, turn denial, uh, good damage, of course, as well as, again, getting that support EX, which is pretty big. So that's definitely one of the greatest things about <clears throat> gaining the support EX role on a lot of these striking characters is that not only are you getting a very high-powered sync move, whether it be strike-based or tech-based or even utility-based where you get sprint or uh, field sync nukes, right? You get the zone, you get the master sync countdown, whatever, you're also on top of it still getting that double, effectively what is, you know, double damage for uh, the rest of the battle, right? earlier on so again ramping damage as fast as possible there we go finish off the enemy anniversary steven gaming gotta love it <laughs> oh that's funny but yeah again lucas gaining the support extra roll i do think was a good buff uh do i think it's the best buff frankly i'm not really sure i think lucas would have benefited a ton from strike i think lucas would have been a pretty good strike buffer he also would have been pretty decent with field i want to say considering uh, dragon still lacks uh another consistent setter besides him and i guess champion nate right um for dragon zone but honestly i mean support's not bad either i think lucas is one of those characters that didn't really uh lose too much you know from getting different ex roles sprint could have you know wouldn't have been fantastic either but strike field and support all i think have legitimately good usages uh to them so hey he got one of the three i'm happy about that anyway let's move on to the uh, final battle which is a legendary gauntlet duo duo and here is the Legendary Gauntlet uh, set up with Bryson as a partner, yes. Uh, so Bryson is definitely not cheap. Uh, you can easily run an egg, but I just did not feel like trying to make that work. I'm not really trying to uh, rank extremely high here because I don't really have the time for it, for one. But anyway, so this makes more utilization of Lucas's utility-based things, where Luke is able to do both special attack and special defense uh, with Satisfied Snicker 9 at his 4 to 5 tile and uh, Mind Games 4 as his as one of his 3 to 5 tiles. Uh, we're still able to get a very strong sync nuke as well. I do I, I do not remember exactly the grid that I used for this. This was a few days ago that I recorded this footage. But I do know that I do have partial uh, part of his sync nuke stuff activated. I think I did pick up Inertia as one of them. Uh, yeah, we did, so... Lucas, the one good thing about uh, Lucas and gaining support X or whatever and gaining the defensive stats is that now not only does he actually have like sufficient defensive stats to be able to take a decent enough, you know, decent few hits, HP as well, all that stuff, but he still maintains his high damage output early in the battle, or, so you're not really trying to build up as much, uh, you're mostly able to do damage pretty much right from the get-go which is an aspect I can really, really appreciate in the Legendary Gauntlet, where, you know, any potential solo or duo that you're doing could get killed later in the run, where it takes, like, 10 minutes, basically, just to get to that point. Uh, so, at least with Lucas here, he starts out being able to just deal 
damage, you know, the, the snap of a finger, pretty much. Roar of Time, just start hitting the enemy really hard, uh, and of course using his good sling nuke as well, right? It's not like a support or a, you know, build-up character or anything like that, which, again, I really, really do appreciate a lot, so that is nice. Anyway, uh, using Bryson here, of course, to get rid of a lot of the Latias' debuffs so that we can maintain the special attack and special defense debuffs consistently with Lucas. Definitely not shabby, for sure. Uh, I, the only uh, thing with this is that this doesn't really highlight Lucas's debuffs as well as I would prefer it to, because we are using a uh, debuff resetter. So... In that front, I'm not really the I'm not really uh, the biggest fan of this setup. Uh, again, it's not really too cheap either because Bryson probably has a lot better uses elsewhere. Considering Lucas can relatively consistently debuff two stats, which is pretty much fine for Latias. But I mean, whatever. I'm not really I'm not really gonna stress myself out over it. Uh, I, I think it's still fine. It still highlights Lucas's de uh, defensive ability with gaining the support X role, and still his debuffs uh, as well are still of immense immense help here, right? Because even with fluid fortification, you do still want to have uh, a few debuffs, even if the enemy is at, you know, neutral debuff status, right? So at least in here with Lucas, we've got ourselves a special attack, special defense, and evasion debuffs. Uh, and this, again, does highlight Lucas's tankiness a lot more now with the support X roll, because you see how Lucas is taking these psychics and whatnot. Latias is debuffed, right? You know, special attack is not very high, but still, for a character that's not really meant to be tanking, at least not prior, he's taking these attacks pretty well. <laughs> so... Either way, there we go. That was the duo versus Latias. Not really, not really amazing, but hey, it's still a duo, and it's still, uh, it was really easy. I think that was like my f f uh, first attempt for the most part. Maybe it failed to crit and reset. I'm not really too sure. Anyway, whatever. So there is the uh, Lucas Support X roll showcase. I did not change Bryson's grid either. I did mean to change that, but I just forgot about it. Uh, Lucas was running Vigilance too. And uh, yeah, there's the grid. So that was plus two energy, I believe. But anyway, again, there it is. There is the uh, Lucas Support EX World Showcase. Let me know what you think about the EX World down in the comments below for him. Again, I do think it's a good buff. I don't think it's... Uh, I don't know if it's the best buff, but I do think it is a good one. Again, I do think he would have benefited quite a bit from Field or Strike as well, but I do think support was a good option, and I'm definitely not going to complain about that. Uh, more tech support options, and again, getting that bulk was nice. So, yeah. Let me know what you think about that down in the comments below. I'll see you all later, and I hope you all enjoyed.